Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Hot Toys action figure review on Marvel's Captain America Civil War movie masterpiece MMS365 Black Widow 1-6 scale collectible figure. I gotta give a big thanks to Comic and Figure Addicts for making this review possible and letting me borrow this figure to review for you guys. If you're a San Francisco Bay Area local, you gotta stop by their store, check it out. Link in the description below to their Facebook. If you're not a San Francisco Bay Area local, you can get it at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at Big Bad Toys. Store.com. Click the link in the description below. It's a very nice packaging art once again with these Hot Toys Civil War figures. Very nice picture of Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow. We get Hawkeye, Ant-Man over there. Get this nice wraparound image with Iron Man and then you can see the vision feet right there. And then we get Winter Soldier, War Machine, Falcon, Captain America. And on that side we get Black Panther. We get this interesting Black Widow logo which I'm not really that familiar with. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It says Black Widow right over there and on the bottom it says Captain America Civil War. You lift up the sleeve and then you can see the figure inside it says divided we fall on this side we see black widow written right over there and then on the very back you can see all the people responsible for creating this figure including cock and tit yeah and then on this side we get that logo once again all right let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's black widow out of the packaging looking absolutely beautiful over there i really like the head sculpt and i like the hair for this figure a lot i really like the hair a lot more than the age of ultron version uh, that one just looked a little scraggly this one looks a lot nicer i think uh, they've really Reuse the body though from the Winter Soldier Black Widow figure from Hot Toys, which I don't really like as much as the Age of Ultron body mold that they used. I feel like this suit is very limiting. I mean, she's in a fairly basic pose over here, not because I'm trying to fluff the review or anything like that or be super careful with it. It's just tough to pose. There's not a whole lot. Even this pose right here is tricky to get her into because the suit is so stiff. But it does look good and she does come with some really good accessories. So let's take a closer look at those and then we'll take a closer look at Scarlett Johansson. Do you always want to read the directions before messing with the figure it mostly tells you over here don't break the figure there 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 and you can apply hair product and stuff like that to this figure if you'd like to I did not do that here's the stand that she comes with which has become pretty standard you know we get some spot varnishing right here with the Captain America Civil War of course we get the Iron Man arc reactor because she's team Iron Man get the adjustable cradle that moves up and down we get this nice shiny plaque as we usually see on the Hot Toys figures looking very cool so as you can see she comes with a fair amount of accessories I really like that we get eight interchangeable hands, we get fisted hands, we get baton holding hands, we get pistol holding hands, and then we get these relaxed hands, we get two different sets of her gauntlets, we get the batons, the collapsed batons, we get the pistols, and then these taser batons, and then an extra set of wrist pegs, and then this Ant-Man right over here, which is actually my favorite accessory out of all of these. I think this looks great. I really like this little Ant-Man a lot, and that looks awesome. I dig that. Yeah, very well painted. You have all those little silver lines and everything in there. Very well done, Hot Toys. You can get that little color variation the top of his head being slightly darker than the mask. So yeah, I'm really digging it. And of course it has this little stand right over here. So you can, you know, plop him on there. Then for a little size comparison, if you want to see him next to the Marvel Select Ant-Man, there you go. And then here's a little Marvel Legends movie Ant-Man, which is super tiny. And then the fists look really good. You know, we get some nice detailed lines in there and everything. Some nice stitching on all of them. You know, they don't skimp out on these. These always look really nice. I dig them. Yep, looking pretty good. And then these guys right here, very similar to what we'd seen from the Age of Ultron version, just slightly different color. And then the pistols are slightly smaller than the previous versions, but these look alright. This is spring-loaded, so you can move it back and forth, and you can pull a little magazine out of here. Come on, empty the clip! Yeah, a little tricky picking that off, but yeah, you can even see the little bullet right there, so that's pretty awesome. I like those. Putting these pistols in here was a little bit weird, I don't know, but now they seem to go in there just fine. And then we get the collapsed batons right over here that clip onto her back very easily. So you can see that she has these two ports right there. And you just port that in, and you port that in right over there. Then you have these two new ones right there where they're all extended, and I think these look fantastic. I really like having her holding these. I think these are really awesome. Now, she has the two sets of gauntlets, which I don't really like removing. As you can see, there's just very slight threading happening over here. 
So you can just put them right on there. Um, and I don't recommend taking these on and off a lot. This is probably the last time I'm going to be putting these on and taking them off. And something that I think is worth noting is that it's not difficult to remove or put on the hands, so I think that's pretty cool. I gotta say Hot Toys crushed it with this head sculpt. I really like it a lot. I actually like this head sculpt more so than the Age of Ultron head sculpt. Neither of them bad. But, I don't know, I just like this one a little bit more. They're not the same exact thing, are they? At first I thought they were the same, but I feel like the jawline over here is different than it is on this one. And just in general, I like the hair more than this one over here, so I do like this head sculpt more. I really like the paint apps as well. They look really very realistic. I dig it a lot. She has pretty eyes, nice eyebrows, I like the lipstick and everything. Yeah, man, and I really like this hair, too. Now, I'm not, you know, the type to treat the hair on the figures. I didn't sign up for that when I got into action figure collecting, you know, playing with doll hair and, and whatnot. But having it just, you know, naturally do its thing as I've been playing with it, it doesn't look too shabby. I don't see a real need to, you know, add any product. I mean, if you want to, you can. But we have some nice curls in here that they've done for us already, so I'm thinking it looks pretty good just the way they shipped this over. I get this one long piece that I had noticed earlier, you know, so I might want to just try to tuck that away, but I like the hair color. I think it was just a little bit darker in the movie than what we're seeing right here, but for the most part, I do like it. Looking at the top of her hair, you can see little parts of glue or product that they put in it, but... Very, very subtle, you know, little flakies right over there. But yeah, man, I think it's a great looking head sculpt. Uh, now again, this suit is not my favorite suit for a Hot Toys Black Widow. Uh, this is pretty much a reuse of the Winter Soldier Black Widow, uh, as I would mentioned earlier. But it doesn't look too bad. And as far as this zipper goes, rewatching the movie recently, I noticed she had... Uh, this zipper was like, kind of like where the nipples would go, so it's like an even line. I guess mine's just a little bit lower. But yeah, she has some very nice cleavage. Always appreciate that. I think she's a little bit smaller in size though, compared to the Age of Ultron one. You can see some silver dry brushing right here on this belt buckle. I like it. And the Widow logo looks really good too. Nice bright metallic red. And then looking on the arms, you can see it's like this, I don't know, this canvasy type of material. And I just feel like it restricts a lot of movement on this figure. And it bothers me. And the gun holsters here look pretty good. And she has these knee pads made out of like a plastic material. And then this kind of hinders some ankle movement. So yeah, from the waist down, well, the whole thing isn't incredibly articulated. But she has some nice wear on her boots right there. I like that. And she has some nice treads at the bottom of her feet. And looking at the back of the figure, yep, it says voluptuous as you'd hope a Scarlett Johansson action figure could be. You know, don't look too bad. I approve of that. Looks pretty good. Now, I wish I could say the same for that articulation. Even though her head does have a great amount of movement, you get a neck joint and a head joint in there where she could look pretty far up. I dig that. And she can move her head downward. Uh, that far, so that's pretty cool, so she could squash on the little Ant-Man. And then we do get side-to-side -side movement at the head, and she has a great amount of head pivot, which is very nice, I like that. Now, the shoulders move outward that far, I don't want to push it more than that, so I wish we could get at least 90 degrees, but no. Uh, they can move all the way down though, and you can move them forward. Uh, there's a little bit of armpit movement in there for that butterfly joint, but it doesn't move a whole lot. You do get a bicep swivel in here that, eh, it doesn't really move a whole ton. It's it's tough getting that to move. Uh, there is a double jointed elbow in here, so it does move past 90 degrees. And you could also rotate at the elbow too if you wanted to do that. Uh, you do get wrist rotation. Oop, there goes the baton thing. You get wrist rotation and they do hinge up and down. And then she does have a diaphragm joint in here, so that will twist a little bit side to side. Not a whole lot, but you can see it moving. And she will crunch forward a bit and she can crunch back just a tiny, tiny tiny bit. She does have some diaphragm pivot in there, but it's very subtle. And then as far as waist movement goes, it's like that waist joint just churns a tiny bit right there, side to side, and even less waist pivot than before, but it does move back a little, and you can get the waist to help it move forward some too. Uh, her hip joints are extremely limited. It's like from the waist down, this figure gets extremely limited and it frustrates me. So her legs can only move outward that far. I don't want to, you know, ruin anything. Uh, she can kick forward only that much. Ah, jeez. That, that's, that's so little. And then it doesn't move back that much. And then she does have upper thigh rotation right here. And then she does have the double jointed knee that could bend in that far. Then the ankles are pretty limited over here. You can rotate them side to side. You do not really get down movement or up movement over here. And you get the tiniest ankle nudge. I'm not going to call it an ankle pivot. It's like an ankle nudge. It's a little, little nudge like that. Now to measure out Hot Toys Black Widow, you can see that she's standing just 
barely over the 11 inch mark. And then for your Black Widow comparison, here we have the Civil War Black Widow compared to the Age of Ultron Black Widow. And I do like the body mold on this one more. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit more voluptuous. I like that, okay? That's just my personal preference. I like the voluptuous women. I like it. And then to compare Black Widow to a couple other Hot Toys, we have the Captain America Civil War Captain America, and then the Ant-Man movie Hot Toys Ant-Man. And that Captain America Civil War figure is awesome! I love it. I still have some of the interchangeable pieces on my review station because I keep playing with it. And then here's Hot Toys Black Widow next to the Marvel Legends Big Time No Letdown Spider-Man. Oh, hold on, let me get this straight. You're gonna rip off my idea of the web shooters, and then on top of that, you're gonna name yourself after a spider when you could barely move your legs? Kind of a letdown! Ooh, that's gotta hurt. So I don't really think this figure is a big time letdown at all. I actually like it. I prefer this head sculpt and the hair to the Age of Ultron version. And if I did have this figure in my collection, I would have her with the batons over here. I think those look really cool. I just really wish that we'd gotten a different suit. I don't know. I just feel like it's very restricting with the legs and everything. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Stick around for the subscribe button over there. If you have not subscribed already, please do so. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, it's all over at MarvelousNews.com and if you want to follow me on the social media all the links are in the description below to the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Great amount of movement. <laughs>